Let me start by asking a question. What does 40 pounds mean to you? 40 pounds or 18 kilograms or almost three stones is the average weight of a human leg, four cans of paint, or a car tire. This was me in 2016. I was a successful executive at the leading digital health company in the world. I was leading transformational initiatives bringing connected care to millions of patients around the globe. Yet, despite my focus on health, my own personal health was declining. I was seeing weight gain, afternoon headaches, low libido, yet I thought I was doing everything right. So working out all the time, eating less, organic, gluten-free, yet every objective marker about my metabolic health was going in the wrong direction. This all culminated in 2018 when I hit a peak weight of 240 pounds, which I consider the worst day of my life. My primary care physician left me with no answers. Was I low testosterone or was this just getting older? I was caught flailing in a trial of cycle and error, all errors, with no real place to go. Luckily, I happened to be married to my wife who was learning the approach of integrative health. Integrative health or functional medicine or holistic health is an approach that takes an individualized, whole person approach to each individual as a unique metabolic state. They do this through broad-based metabolic testing, self-assessment, and personalized recommendations. Through that process, we uncovered the root cause of my issue, which was related to my genetics, hormones, diet, and lifestyle. But through that process, not only did I rapidly lose 40 pounds, I saw a transformational health in my life and energy. I now feel more energetic in my 40s than I did in my 20s. So why doesn't this type of approach exist for all of society today? It's because we've created a culture that is dependent upon this idea that someone else has the answers for the health questions that we're looking for. We've become dependent upon our respective healthcare systems, but only after our health has gone awry. But now through the power of health intelligence, we now have a tool to allow each individual to achieve their own 40 pound health transformation. The global pandemic had shown a spotlight on this need for personalized metabolic health. According to the World Obesity Day Foundation, over 800 million people are struggling with metabolic health and they're more than twice as likely to have been hospitalized from COVID-19. But the global health and wellness market is now estimated to be greater than $4 trillion, especially in the US, UK, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, the market is growing at over 10% year on year. And according to a post-pandemic market survey from McKinsey, consumers, there's now 79% of consumers that now believe health and wellness is important, with 42% believing that it's a top priority. One of the most successful and prolific healthcare investors, Vinod Kozla, gave us a glimpse into the future. He said, eliminating symptom-based medicine should be a priority by 2030. You shouldn't have to start losing your memory before you're diagnosed with Alzheimer's. But why isn't this approach available to everybody else? It's only been available to a small selection of society. That's due to a confluence of factors that combine both cost and access issues. For consumers, there's a lack of awareness and a general dependency on the regular health system for them to bring the answers for what they're looking for. And for those that are aware, there's a perceived cost burden that is so high that they can't overcome, or that cost burden is seemingly too, too risky because it's unclear if it's going to deliver on the health outcomes that that individual is looking for. For practitioners, they're drowning. They're really spread thin. They have to balance high marketing costs, low market awareness, and chaotic delivery systems. This prevents them from seeing more patients and scaling their businesses. They're drowning in data and inefficiency, which forces them to keep their prices high. And until now, health intelligence has been lacking. Data has been strewn across multiple siloed data systems with complex interfaces that are constantly evolving. And this, is how, this has prevented the industry from scaling into the mainstream because it's not one size fits all. So why don't one size fits all approaches work? That's because there's a dependable rule about your individual health. 
depends on your genetics, depends on your lifestyle, depends on your diet. The only defendable rule about your health is that it depends. And until now, we finally have a dependable solution through health intelligence to truly unlock optimal health and vitality for each individual. Previously, tracking data at an individual level over the long period of time was impossible. This left healthcare as reactive medicine, preventing it from being truly proactive healthcare. And for consumers, they were left to only seek out individual attention when they'd become symptomatic, rather than actively tracking and managing their health over time. But the biggest barrier to adoption to this particular approach in the traditional healthcare system is the reliance on the double-blind placebo-controlled standard for outcomes. While this is a great standard for a novel pharmaceutical, it's an impossible standard for broad-based diet and lifestyle interventions. The only way to get healthy is to undo the way we got sick, and a placebo-controlled trial is not possible given the size, number of variables, and the time it would take to complete such a study. In the real world, outcomes using N equals one health protocols enabled by health intelligence is now possible. This is done by the accelerating aggregation of broad health information to create a new data model of health by unifying the industry across common platforms. <clears throat> Accessing, this allows the industry to access technologies to fully unlock technology and outcomes at each individual level. Accumulation of billions of data points will truly unlock the future. So through health intelligence, there will now be this opportunity to reduce cost through trial and error and actually capturing money on money that's being wasted on diets or programs that just won't work. Optimizing for what markers and interventions matter for each individual, regardless of the broad range of variables and phenotypes. This enables individuals to put off the onset of chronic disease, saving all global health systems, it, uh, all global systems a ton of money. And insights through health intelligence allow practitioners to get back to doing what they love the most and that's caring for their patients to help them get and stay healthy. So how do we become the health system of the future? It's happening now. Now more than ever, each individual has the ability to get access to broad metabolic testing through consumer channels. We need to shift our mindset to putting our own health in our own hands to making sure that we're getting the health outcomes that we deliver. And this will transform healthcare through optimal vitality, a robust practitioner marketplace, and consumer advocacy. A new ecosystem is emerging where there's a health, integrative health marketplace rooted in the power of health intelligence so society can take back control of its health in a post-pandemic world. The rise of health intelligence is here to stay and it's only going to accelerate. By becoming a part of the movement, we feed the virtuous cycle where the next person can benefit from our own individual outcome. That further decreases costs, increases accessibility, regardless of income, socioeconomic status, or geography. We need to shift our mind from being dependent upon the medical system and putting our health into our own hands. Recognizing we're already spending money on things that we think are healthy to no avail. Now is the time to really spend the money in the right way for the outcomes we truly want delivered. Consumer health and wellness and truly personalized health is no longer out of reach for most consumers today. Each one of us was born with our health throughout our lifetime, and we slowly give it away and we keep expecting somebody to hand it back to us. But the reality is the only person that can give us back our health is ourselves. And now through the power of health intelligence, we have the tools to do that. So now that you've heard about my 40-pound health transformation, what's your individual health transformative goal that you're looking for? And what are you gonna do tomorrow to take that first step on your journey? 
We've spent the last 50 years waiting for the healthcare system to change. Now is the time where we need to become the health system of the future as individuals collectively.